Ah, uh, we... It is a covers video. This is the 24th one. And the number 24 is very special to any fans of Kiefer Sutherland because it was at the age of 24 when he probably should have died young and saved the Sutherland family legacy the burden of being weighed down by an unpleasant wank shaft like him. We have five good comic book covers here and our first one is Excellent Men 192 from 2006. Before I even talk about it, let's appreciate the short-lived time in late 2006 when they attempted to bring back the corner box. I am a big fan of Crispin Aylor's work. His art is great. And I was surprised when I looked at my spreadsheet and saw that he had only shown up once on a cover spotlight. Funnily enough, it was with another cover from this run, issue 190. This cover is great though. It shows rouge, and that's what most of you will immediately see. But she's stamping on Sabreclaw's head. She has defeated Sabreclaw, and she is about to inject him with something to keep him under control. I love that the cover is telling a little story, something that happens in the issue too, and it tells it by not focusing on it. Some people really hate Crispin Aylo's art. Are you one of them? Jason Byrne. I had to replace another cover in this because I realised there was two Jason Byrne ones. This is Avengers 325, which is an issue actually written by Marky Mark. The Avengers are having a party, and this was after Jason Byrne left the series and the Avengers titles. So, I have always been curious about this one cover that comes a few months after that, which is still drawn by um Maybe this was a cover he did for one of his issues before leaving. Maybe he did it as a favour to Marky Mark. I didn't know, but it's a great fun Avengers cover with Big Barda having one of her infamous parties. <sighs> I'm afraid this is all getting quite samey again. We have Jimmy Lee and what I would consider to be his most overlooked Excellent Men cover. This is Excellent Men Annual 1 from 1992. And... It's, in my opinion, the best team shot Jimmy Lee did. And I think people really overlook this because it is an annual and the interiors are not by Jimmy Lee. But yeah, this is a Jimmy Lee Excellent Men cover. And I prefer this to the Excellent Men 1 combining covers. Which some people might think is heresy. Kazar 8 by Manfred Manley. Have I reviewed this one? I think I have. This is a lovely cover and Manfred Manley never got the appreciation he deserved. On Kazar, his run was sandwiched between... Ryan Paul, a really dependable penciler and quality linesman. And then Greg Batman, who was so good that he saved Kazar from cancellation. This is pretty superb, though. Kazar 
he is in the dark, surrounded by a monster, an unknown enemy. And then the annoying robot from Excellent Force is breaking all that tension and even ruining the cover somewhat. Although I should point out that my copy of this issue, the cover hasn't been lined up right. No artist worth half the salt would ever draw an insert with half the face missing. Let's finish this with an artist I am sure I said I didn't really care for. And that is true, but I like this cover. This is Extra Factors 81, with its cover by Barry Strawman. His art is a bit weird for me. I can tolerate it when I am reading the comics themselves, but I would say that it's pretty bad most of the time. This is where it totally works, though. Two big characters where anatomy or size isn't a prerequisite. We have Cypher standing victorious over Strong Guy. Not Sunder, you prats. And maybe it is just the case that, as I said yesterday, I am oddly drawn to Cypher as a bad guy. I like this cover. I think it is Barry Strawman's best bit of art even. And thus ends another chapter in the life of five good comic book covers. Which cover and or covers were your favourites here? We had at least two artists here that are quite hit and miss with some people. If it weren't for the Gregory Landsman episode, I would say that this is potentially the most divisive five good comic book covers ever. Yeah, I like them all though, so seven thumbs up from me.